Today we are making super soft and incredibly delicious red velvet cupcakes. Alongside a small batch of my favorite cream cheese frosting, which is the perfect amount for 12 cupcakes. So you want to start off by preheating your oven to 160 degrees fan forced and lining a cupcake tray with cupcake liners. Set that aside and let's move on to our cupcakes. So start off by sifting together your dry ingredients. So I've got one and a quarter cups of all purpose flour, one and a half tablespoons of corn flour, also known as cornstarch, one and a half tablespoons of cocoa powder, a quarter teaspoon of baking soda, half a teaspoon of baking powder, and a quarter teaspoon of salt. And then I'm just using a whisk to combine that all together. You can also use cake flour in replacement of the all-purpose flour and corn flour. Now set that aside for later and in another bowl you're going to add in 3 tablespoons or 43 grams of unsalted butter, a third of a cup of unflavored vegetable oil and one cup of white granulated sugar. And then using a hand or stand mixer you just want to cream that together on a medium speed for about 2 minutes or so until it's light and creamy. Okay, so that is looking pretty good. So that's what it should look like. It's much lighter and creamier in color. And now the next thing to do is add in two eggs one at a time, mixing well in between each addition. So you wanna make sure each egg is well incorporated before you add in the next egg. So roughly about kind of 10 to 15 seconds between eggs. Okay, now I'm just giving my bowl a little scrape down just to make sure everything's mixing well. Next, you wanna add in half a tablespoon of vanilla, three quarters of a teaspoon of white vinegar, and one and three quarters of a tablespoon of red liquid food coloring. And then just mix that all together until it's well combined. Okay, now the last step is to fold in our dry ingredients with our buttermilk. Now to do this, I'm going to first add in half of my dry ingredients and gently fold that into my batter with a spatula until it's almost combined. It's okay if you have kind of a few little bits of unmixed flour. Now once that's done, add in a third of a cup of buttermilk and fold that through until just combined, followed by the remaining dry ingredients and again folding that through until just combined. By folding in the flour, it's going to prevent us from over mixing the batter and developing too much gluten which we don't want we want nice soft cupcakes and that is it our batter is all done and now all that's left to do is to distribute it evenly into our cupcake tray so you want to fill your cupcake liners about half the way up if you fill them all the way up to the top they're going to rise in the oven and overflow which we don't want you should get exactly 12 cupcakes with this batter now I'm just giving the tray a little shake to even out the batter and one or two bangs just to get rid of any large air bubbles which may have formed and now these are going to go into the oven for 18 minutes or until a toothpick comes out clean so my cupcakes are out of the oven now and they look and smell incredible and now I'm just placing them onto a wire rack to completely cool now while our cupcakes are cooling, let's make the most incredible cream cheese frosting. It is so easy to make, so you want to start off by adding half a cup or 112 grams of room temperature unsalted butter to a bowl and using a hand mixer or your stand mixer, whip it until it's light and creamy. So this should take about kind of three to four minutes. Okay, next you want to add in two and a quarter cups of icing sugar in three batches. So add in about a third first and on a low speed mix until it's combined. Then add in your next third, mix until it's combined, and then add in the last third and mix until combined. And you want to scrape down your bowl every now and then just to make sure everything's mixing well. Now lastly, add in three quarters of a cup of cold cream cheese. Now you want to go for the firm type, not the spreadable type, and you want to make sure it's cold because this is going to help us achieve a more pipeable consistency. And with that, add in three quarters of a teaspoon of vanilla and three quarters of a tablespoon of fresh lemon juice, and then just mix that together until it's nice and smooth. You want to avoid over mixing though because the more you mix the softer your frosting is going to become so just mix until it's nice and smooth. And that is it, you should end up with a beautifully smooth, not too soft cream cheese buttercream. Now to frost my cupcakes, I'm using a 1M star tip and I'm placing it into a piping bag which I have pre-cut a hole into. And then I'm turning my piping bag over onto my hand to make kind of a space which I'm going to fill with my cream cheese frosting. And now I'm just going to pipe cupcake swirls on the tops of my cupcakes. 
So I'm just starting on one edge, going around the outer edge of the cupcake, and then slowly bringing the frosting into the middle of the cupcake until it's completely covered. Now you can continue to pipe the rest however you like, but that is basically it. My red velvet cupcakes with cream cheese frosting is all done. These cupcakes are honestly so, so soft and delicious, and the cream cheese frosting just goes perfectly with that red velvet. Mmm, so soft, so flavorful, and the combo with the cream cheese frosting is just honestly the best. If you try out this recipe, don't forget to leave a review on my blog. I love hearing from you guys, and I'll see you in the next video.